Quarter Trail Tracker RB. It's a 2015 with just under 21,000 miles on the clock. The Auto Trail Tracker RB, it's 7.6 metres long, it's 4,250 kilograms, so you will need a C1 licence to drive this vehicle, and it's a 2.3, 150 brake horsepower, so it is a cam belt and not a chain. Now this is a four berth motorhome, but it does only have two belted seats, so what we'll do, let's have a look down the driver's side of the van first. So first thing we've got, 230 hookup, below that we do have our waste um, tap, so that's for draining down the waste tank. We have our vents for a fridge, and then we have our fresh water filler, and also we have an outside shower as well, and then below that we have our drain off for our fresh water tank. So if you notice there's two taps for the drain off of the fresh water so one of the taps is to drain off the fresh water tank completely and the second tap is to drain off so there's 20% left in the fresh water tank for when you're traveling. So we'll move on to the hatches. So if we have a look at this hatch what we do have we have our Truma water heater, we have our drain off, we also have the outside shower and then just next to that on the opposite side we have our pump. Flew for our heating system obviously we've got the winter cover on at the moment and then we'll work our way around the back. Now what we have we have the reversing camera up on the top and then this is our spare wheel which we unlock and then we can unscrew to take the spare wheel off. Passenger side now, we have the outside gas barbecue point. Long awning above with the awning light. And then our cassette toilet. And then towards by the passenger door, we have our gas bottles, sorry, our gas locker. Uh, which is easily do two six kilogram gas bottles. So on the roof we have a solar panel, satellite dish and our skylights. So let's have a look at the cab first. Um, it's on the Fiat Ducato. We do have um, cruise control. It's six speed manual. And then we have our media pack with sat nav, reversing camera, radio, CD, we can hook the phone up. We've got air conditioning, also we have blown air as well. And then we have USB points and a 12 volt point. And then just above, what we also have is a drop down Avtech TV. So let's go have a look inside. So the Auto Trail Tracker. What we've got, we've got the dinette at the front, moving back we have our kitchen area and then we also have our washroom and then right at the back then we have our fixed island bed. If I make my way around, as you can see with the island bed you can go all the way around and then we have got with the bed you can adjust it to a bed and then you've also got an area just above this window here, where you can put a TV. And then if we want to have a lie in, we can lift this up and adjust it to whichever height you want. And we can watch your TV. So I will work our way back. Now above the bed as well, we do have two big lockers. 
a good size and then we do have to let a lot of light in over the bed we do have our skylight with our blinds and fly screen and then next to the bed we do have a freestanding table as well um, we also have a wardrobe and then what I'll do now on this side we have our shower and toilet so I'll just show you inside and what we're getting is a separate shower it's a good sized shower actually and then we have a, a little cupboard as well well a good sized cupboard mirrors and then that leads down to the basin and then also the cassette toilet as well right so opposite that we have our wardrobe which is a good size and then below our wardrobe we have our fire now the fire does work off gas and also off electric as well and we have got a blown air on, the, on it as well so we can send the heat around the van or if we haven't got the fire on we can just send the cold air around and then that brings us on to the kitchen so on the kitchen we have a microwave with a couple of hatches and then we have the three burner hob with a hot plate and then we've got a grill and oven with a bit of storage underneath right so next to the hops we have our sink and drainer and then we also have our opening window which we can just open out and then we can tighten up to open and then we have our blinds and fly screen just close that now and then what we also have then underneath the sink we have our three-way fridge which can be working off leisure battery gas and electric and then we have two or three cupboards here and then above this one we have a drawer and then we do have another drawer cutlery drawer so now we'll move on to the dinette so we've got the two bench seats um, which we'll make out into the dinette with a little coffee table i'll just take the coffee table off and then what we can do with this dinette we can make up another bed by sliding along so there we've got our bed i'll just put this back slide this one back and then going all around the van we've got loads of storage with all the cupboards not cupboards the drawers all the way around and then above that we've got the big skylight which lets lots of air light into the van with our fly screens and blinds and this skylight will open up as well to let in air so both seats do swivel around they are captain seats so we're getting a bit more room out of the motorhome and then what we have in this cupboard here we have our sergeant power supply um, with all the 12 volts and 230 trips and then moving above the habitation door we have our control panel to operate on and off um, for your pumps and for changing your batteries and then moving over opposite that we have our heating system for our hot water and also for our fire so there you have it the auto trail tracker rb it's a 2015 van with just under 21,000 miles and for a 2015 van it's in great condition there's no marks or scuffs on it it's really been well looked after it's got full service history full habitation history um, and it has like i say it has been well looked after